Hi, I'm going to show you how to add animated cards to the Sin and Dev screen. It's pretty simple, but that's just a few things you need to know about it first. The first thing you should, should do, of course, is to open the config in some kind of editor. And once you've done that, you can scroll down to the bottom and you can find one of the existing animated cards. Uh, you can clearly see it's an animated card by looking at this part. If it says add animated card, instead of just saying add card, you'll know it's an animated one, as the name implies. So you could just copy it to have a template and then just change this to test here. Um, the two important things about an animated card is the source here and the timings. Uh, I'll talk about what the timings is later. For now, we'll just talk about the source. So the first thing you should do is you should find a GIF you want. Uh, I have a GIF here. Um, yeah. So what you do is you go onto a website here, eastgif.com slash split. And then you could just take the GIF here, drag it here, and then just upload. So you, when you press the split to frames, you don't need to do any of this, just split to frames. Download frames as zip. And I'll just save it to the same folder I have. Okay. Yeah. So the next thing you go you do is you go into the description of this video and go to the paste bin link. So I've done that now. I have this file up here. Um, no, no, it's text up here. So I just control A, control C. The next thing I do is I create a new text document. It's called renamer. And then I change the extension to being a py file instead of a, a txt file. So this will be a Python file. If you don't have Python installed, you can go install Python at python.org. Uh, you just need to install it, just the newest version, whatever. Uh, anyway, I kind of assume you have it installed. Uh, you can just open the code editor here and just copy the entire thing. In. Okay. So now that's done. Uh, then you create an input folder, just called input, and then you create another folder called output. Uh, so what you do now is you go into the input folder you just created here. You create a folder for the GIF you want to output. So I'm just going to call this test. Then I go back. I open the zip file I had, pre uh, had previously. Uh, notice the names here. You see this 0 0.08 seconds here? That's also the timings, by the way. So just remember this for later. Um, you just copy all those files in there. Put them into your test folder, whatever you named it. Any okay. Now we've done that. Um, so what you can do is you can you need to run this rename.py. You can do it by you can press on this here, and then you can just type cmd, and it will open the command prompt in the path you're in. You can just do pi rename.py. This will, one, this will run the script, and once that is done, it will have a corresponding folder in the, in, in the output from what you put into the input folder. This will rename all of the frames to the format you need to use. So once you've done this, you can just copy it all over. Um, okay. Well, you don't actually don't need to copy this now. I'm just going to open a new one to show. Close this. Okay, so next step you could do is you find your Gary's mod uh, folder, which is in program files, Steam, Steam that common, Gary's mod, Gary's mod add-ons. Okay, so now you can you need to make your own add-on. Yeah, which you can just do by creating a new folder, and let's call this Senen Dev Screen My Cards whatever you want. Has to be all lowercase. So you 
do is you create a materials folder here. Then you create a Xenon folder. And in that you create a dev cards folder. And again, inside that there's an animated folder. I'll have this in the description, how it should look, so you can just look very if you're not sure if it's right. Uh, but anyway, now we have a folder we need to be. So we could say, yeah. I named the test, so I'll just write test here. It doesn't matter really. It needs to be unique. You can't have the same folder for multiple animated icons. Anyway, so I drag this, I have this here, and I can just go into the test folder and I can just drag all of it over. Now I have all my frames in here in my add-on. Um, yes, that's it. So now we can go back to the config. Okay, so the resource is gonna be animated slash test because as we have in here, inside the dev card folder, so animated, this folder's name is test. Therefore, the source is also test. And as I said previously, the files in the zip, as I can just, I can just find it again here, right? It says 0 0.08 seconds, and that's the times we need to use. Which means you'll need to set this to 0 0.08 and this to 0 0.08. This is the amount of seconds between individual frames. It determines how fast it goes. So if you actually want to speed up an animated card slightly, you could decrease this value. And if you want to slow it down, you had to increase the value a bit. Uh, Anyways, now we actually done that. Should be good. Let's just set it to one. Testing. Um, that's it. So now I can start my Gary's mod up. Let's give it a little time. Can find my own server here. Just wait for it to load in. Okay. Benchmark DS. Now we're in this menu. Uh, we can go down to oh, it's animated cards. Yeah, okay. You see? Oh, this is not a good example because I didn't rename it. I forgot to rename it anyway. Uh, my card. Okay. Just can just read on the menu. Anyway, that's it. It now shows that my card. I know it is the same as this, because the GIF is the same, but the files are different. It's a different location. As you can see, the default one is in wounded, and this one is a test. So yeah, this is pretty much how you add it. It's pretty simple to do once you know what to do. And now it's much easier to speed to do it again. So say if we had oh, wrong folder, my bad. All right. If we had, uh, if I had like maybe 10 GIFs, right? I'd have to go into the East GIF site and split all of them. Um, I just put them into each, it has its own folder. So we could have like a test two in here. Right, we just put a, another East GIF split GIF in there and run the script again, and that would output it into the output folder. And we just copy all of it over. And that way, you can just keep making new animated dev screens. I hope you know how to do it now, though. If not, you can just open a ticket and I'll help you more.